Welcome to La Femme. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Isn't it nice? There is so much to see. Other than the garden, there is something to eat and it is all healthy stuff. All this. Shall we meet the, the happy, beautiful, gorgeous owner? Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. I am meeting you today for the first day. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. You have a beautiful place. Thank you. Thank you. And hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Happy place is happy place. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, hi. This is nice. Thank you. This is Mothoni will take us around so we can see her green fingers. All the people that I see they have green, not yellow, green fingers. You know, magic fingers. And so we shall see all her organic, healthy. Can't you see? Her face is glowing. They are all looking beautiful and nice. Because they eat organic. That we do. Thank that you. We do. Yeah, so join me for the tour. <laughs> when so did you start plane. this? When I say what, five years ago? And and this was just a dream. Actually it just began with just us wanting to know where our food grow comes from. Mm. Just growing our own food and then okay. we're like, okay. What can we do okay. um, to create an environment that other people who are like us will enjoy and also make money out of it? Mm. Okay. Because there's, for me, the passion, and for him, the numbers. Yes. So yes. marry the two. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's a good mix. Mm -hmm. One of the things, my goal, um, you'll see in some areas, is to create garden rooms. I don't want you to walk in through the gate and see everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. I want you to walk in and be like, okay, I see a little bit. I want to see more. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the space that we use to rent out if someone has a, an event, mm. very intimate event that they would like to use the space for. Yes. Yeah. Um, we recently dug out some patches because we're trying some new organic lawn care. Mm -hmm. um, our goal here is um, to improve the health of our soil. Um, so one of the things that we're really focusing on is water retention. Because as much as we have good quality soil, mm -hmm. uh, we have an issue with the water just draining out. So one of the things that we're adding in is a water retention um, product it retains the water. Hence, we have to use less water, which is also good for the environment. and. Um, that, that, that beady thing, is, yes. it, is it organic as well? Yes. Okay, so it's yeah. not harmful to the it's soil? It's not harmful to oh, the soil nice. at all. Good to hear um, that. I haven't used anything that's chemical okay. in Have this you? ground for the last, mm, I want to say, five years. Yeah, and mm. hopefully mm. the two years before that because it was yes. more virgin. Mm. Um, so for the mm. last about seven years, no chemicals have gone onto the Lovely. soil. Yeah. Lovely. So everything that we see is all naturally grown from, yeah from our food to, to the flowers yes. to the grass correct that's and, interesting and that's one of the so things healthy. yeah that's one of the things that we want to show people is that yes. uh, that organic works yeah it does work it, it does it's, work but is it a lot of work it does is. it take a lot more than when i'm going to use the synthetic stuff yes it is because we have to hand pick especially for things like weeds oh gosh tell me about weeds yeah <laughs> Yeah, so we have to hand pick and, and that also increases the cost of our production, mm. hence increasing the cost of our produce. So sometimes I find people when it comes to the food that they don't understand why am I paying mm. more mm. for organic, mm. yet you're not you know, spraying the chemicals, you're not using commercial fertilizer. Mm. When you yeah. get to that age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know people you ask me and they more. say, so why should I pay more for organic? Can I tell them more? It's you either pay the farmer now or pay the big farmer later. Yes. Look at this. Yes, we it's, it's we actually have a pollinator garden that ah. you're going to see a lot of. Hopefully, you know the sun having gone down, we'll yeah. still see quite a bit of them. It attracts the bees. It attracts butterflies, and that's also our focus that we're able to attract beneficial um, insects Beautiful. Beautiful. because then they prey on the insects that we don't want around. It's nice. Uh, it's just what you call a moon garden. Mm -hmm. So everything that we've uh, we're growing here mm -hmm. is just white and green. 
Oh, that's why it yeah. comes to the moon. The moon garden, yeah. Is so this the one that I have? It's no, I have a yellow one. Know. You know what? Let's all find out what uh, huh? the oh, name of it is. We can go, we can go yeah. in. And we're going to use this app. We are in the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that tells us what plant what, what it plant? is. Okay. And now that I think about it, yes, I see why it's, they would call it a mock orange because it has a very citrus uh, scent. Look at this. <gasps> yes. <laughs> That's a day lily. The funny thing about this is that it opens out during the day, yes, and then it dies at night. This was probably open yesterday, huh? And now it's dead. It will last one day, just one day. Enjoy the I beauty be just for the night, <laughs> yes, for the day, <laughs> just for the just day, just for the day. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Oh, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. <laughs> so, with this face. Mm -hmm. The goal is to finish the kitchen. Oh, that's the kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put up a pizza oven, a wood burning pizza oven, mm -hmm. and then do a restaurant mm -hmm. with a co-working space above it or mm -hmm. a library, mm -hmm. so that someone, as you you saw, there's tea. Yes. And yes. then there's a forest, so you can hook up your bike, um, come in, cycle, get a shower. Oh, so we have some trails around. Yeah, forest is not big. Yeah, but it's but it's still yeah, a forest. It's still a forest. Yeah. <laughs> so the then the uh, remaining forest. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to rehabilitate it. It has a lot of eucalyptus. So mm. I've been trying to bring those down and plant more indigenous. Okay. Um, better okay. for our soil. Better yes. for our yes. environment. Eventually, we hope to put up a spa. And this we can is get a, spot. a spa treatment. No, no, no. This. <laughs> this is uh I'm looking at this and I'm thinking of Mount Longonot. <laughs> no, this is just doing stuff without doing your homework. I dug but this I up with it. Yeah. So I dug I it up it. with the with the goal of filling it up with water and having this beautiful uh, water feature. Yeah. Until I went to buy the liner, the dam liner. And I was told, which is a couple of years ago, yes. that it's about a quarter million. I have now different plans for it. Okay. Um so yeah, lessons learned. Do your homework. You Do your homework first. <laughs> you should. It's called excitement. That was me yesterday being excited and I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, so I had this vision. I'm like, I want water to be. No, I want a big water feature. I want people to be blown away. And then but that God, would be God showed me different. Look at that. Look at that. Sarah. Yeah. That would be beautiful. So this is yet another room. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Madonna's room. <laughs> so we have the rosemary. The rosemary is not here just for aesthetics. Mm -hmm. it's, it's here also just to keep the pests away. Yes. Because they don't like the scent, mm -hmm. especially slugs. And here we have berries, mm -hmm. which the slugs like. Ah, so it's this, raspberries. This yes. We had oh, cut wow. it down okay. because of the kiangazi. Mm. And now it's sprouting up again. That's how much the kiangazi really changed our cycle. Um, because usually by now, um, we have lots of black, yes, I mean, uh, yes, raspberries. Yes, December is a berry, berry month. It's actually a fruit month. A fruit month, yes. Yeah. yes. And we're, we're seeing how the lack of the rains really mm. affected us. You know, just as a small farm as we are. So with, climate change is here. It's, it's serious and it's real. But this is called pepino melon. Oh, pepino, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a... It's a Known, most people know it for digestion purposes. Mm. So if you have issues with uh, digestion, I find that uh, it, it helps. If you have one before bedtime, yes. and in, in the morning uh, when you wake up, you're looking for the bathroom. You're, you're clean. Yes, this is a colon <laughs> cleanser. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Now I have some, some sort of surprise here for you. But before we get into the surprise, this is kiwi. Um, it was one of the first things I ever planted. When yes. It, when yes. I got the space, I understand it takes seven years to give you fruit. So I'm hoping oh, wow. next year we'll so be able to get So you haven't gotten any fruit no, since. No, none. Yeah, and you have to have a male and a female. Oh. So lately I've been wondering, so do I male. have all females or all males? Because yeah, yeah. Is this the male? <laughs> I haven't. It looks smaller. I haven't figured that out. Apparently, it looks it's the it's the shape of the leaves. Eh? If you look at it, it's more like a spade. Oh yes, Is that yes. A spade? And it has a a little small tail. Yeah. Here goes the surprise! Grapes! Yes! Look at that, look at the top of it. Yes! Ha! Huh. And this is how old a plant? This is less than a year. 
Oh, really? Believe it or not, yes. So that means Limuru is good. It's, it seems, I only got good. one plant at the beginning. Yes. Because then I was like, okay. I don't know if it's, this is going to do perform well mm. in mm. Limuru. So you so just tried one plant. So when I, I actually thought Limuru would be very cold. I thought so too. Is this red or black? It's red. Don't panic. Oh, so you just pick and eat. Pick and so eat. Then it. Ah. So we have yellow ones here. Ooh, and they're very fruity. They are so fruity. Oh, wow. Surprise. What? I hadn't even seen this myself. Look at how big what? that is. What? Wow. These are called beef tomatoes. So they get round like that. Mm -hmm. Because they're best uh, for salads. Mm. So you cut, you cut them in rings. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's a blueberry. Is this ready to eat? Mm -hmm. So they're very tiny because this is the first crop. Oh, wow. Um, I got it. The plant is quite expensive. It's 2,000 two bob for such a small plant. Mm. Wow. Nice, eh? Mm. Yeah, so it's, 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 nice. it's, it's quite expensive. Can I take one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We barely have fruit because anytime my kids come in here, first thing they do is find one of the workers and they like, can you open the but greenhouse? You know, <laughs> What I like about the two small ones is quite sweet. Other than just being sweet, even mm -hmm. is is how they leave you wanting more. <laughs> You're like, yeah. no other one. There is no other one, so you will so, go yeah. with the hope that I'll come back and find another. Find one. something. We also have some stevia. Mmm. Because curry. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I like it. But strawberries, yeah. And strawberries. We just cleaned out. Mmm. Oh. oh, there's one here. Yeah, yeah. Guy, we'll finish everything in no, your no, garden. No. I've had Suckers. all sorts of flavors. Huh? Yeah. This is really juicy. Nice. There's a story to this rose garden. Yes. It began about three years ago. Yes. Um, when I got a call from my sister, and she said, well, I've been diagnosed with cancer. I traveled to be with her yes. and we went through chemo and then I, um, the surgery after chemo and mm -hmm. then radiation mm -hmm. thereafter. Mm -hmm. But when I came back and my mom then went, went and of course my mom could only be there I think um, a month and a half. Mm -hmm. So she also returned and oh at a certain period she was alone. What so, cancer was it? It was breast cancer. Breast cancer. Yeah, breast cancer. So she still oh worked, gosh. went to work, Okay. and then on the days that she would have chemo, you know, it would be really tough. For the mm. next two days, she wouldn't be able to go to work. Um, and then soon after that, then she would get back to work, try to work as hard as she could because she knew after the next chemo, then she would have to take two days off. So she hard. would try and, uh, yeah. And then, you know, of course hard. with chemo, you have, you yeah. have, um, all this uh, lethargy mm. and mm. you're tired it has it yeah. really downtime it does and, and it's lonely. poison yes. it is poison yes so. but but thank god it sounds like they had uh, she had um, an understanding and prayer yes yes because really yes. if you don't she they'll did. just let yeah. you go she did yeah and she had a, an amazing uh, team of doctors mm. nurses mm. um i mean seeing firsthand um what a cancer patient can go through i it really spoke to me like what can I do even mm. here when mm. I come back to just make someone's life more easy when they're mm. going through that period because mm. you have to see all these kind of doctors you're not only seeing your oncologist you're seeing the, a kidney doctor to check on your kidneys you're also seeing a heart doctor to check on your heart so mm. it was a very very difficult time mm. and even for family members because it was just as equally as tough for us and thankfully mm. I could throw myself into this mm. um, ah, so this and a is where the, the rose garden started yeah and, and so that's and <laughs> funny enough her name is rose so <laughs> Ooh, yeah so this was a constant reminder of rose yeah and it would remind me to pray for her now i see it and i'm like oh my gosh indeed god leave us so because mm. she's here with us how is she she's oh healthy. she's here with us yeah she's here. she's since moved back to kenya she's healthy um so yeah good story with a good ending with a good ending yes that's so the Rose, story of the Rose, Rose we love you, we love you, we love you, and we thank God that you're here with us. Yeah. And you're rooted to grow. <laughs> you are all rooted yeah. to grow. And look at this. This this is love. This yeah. is love coming from the heart. And 
clearly Mutoni loves you. Mutoni <laughs> loves you. That, that's a beautiful story. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful You language. know, I, I, I talk because I'm a caregiver. Yeah. Yes. So I listening know. to your story yes. just yes. evokes emotions yeah. and yeah, I know it's a, it hasn't been love. easy for you. Yeah. Love is so critical yeah. in, in, in any Form. medical journey. Mm. It is so critical and mm. you just being there mm. or anyone else just being there for someone mm. who is unwell yeah. or even for the caregivers. Mm. <sighs> yeah, it yeah. just lightens the load. Yeah, so it does. I'm glad you have that heart. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So now we're gonna go have a glass of wine. Oh really? <laughs> After all this we can celebrate. Rose, we celebrate you. 